Venom the Rogue Osborne is making his way through Minglewood Hall and eventually into the cage. This is the V3 Welterweight Division Championship. The title became vacant after P.J. Bonner, the former champion turned professional. Osborne getting set to meet Justin Edwards. Adam Osborne from Floral, Arkansas, fighting for the Gracie Barra Club. Also a full-time student at Arkansas State, so while he's doing his studies, Rick, he's also been working MMA and doing a great job. He comes in with a perfect 4-0 record. Adam Osborne, man, this guy can launch some he can launch some opponents, man. He got some serious miles in the last fight. Uh, definitely comes with a big slams. Good wrestling, very good wrestling. Super, super strong. This guy benches a small Volkswagen. <laughs> so, you know, we're gonna look for him to just come and get in there, tie up, take him down, pound him, pound him, pound him, and try to submit him. Yes, yeah, first three wins all came by rear naked choke. High-end blue belt who's been training BJJ and Muay Thai for nearly five years, Adam the Rogue Osborne. He is coming off a dominating win over Frankie Shugart in his V3 debut in April. Also a former state grappling champion from Arkansas and great cardio, Adam the Rogue Osborne. And now he awaits his opponent as the music changes, the lights dim, and get ready to meet from Memphis, Tennessee. The hometown boy, Justin Edwards, out of Memphis BJJ, coached by Dave Ferguson. His Muay Thai coach, Jason McDonald, all the fine folks at BJJ. Trains with Jaleel Willis, Brian Hall, Adam Denton, etc. He is a southpaw, and he is also a perfect 4-0. He's Justin Edwards. I'll tell you what, Justin Edwards impressed me last fight. This man is silky smooth. He's got great technique. Looking at him, he doesn't have, he doesn't look like much of a fighter. He's got hair like me a little bit, kind of <laughs> dapper. You know, he comes in there looking all smooth and ready to go. He got the scruff on. I'll tell you what, but he throws down like he knows what he's doing out there. Did Rick McCracken just say kind of dapper like himself? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of slipped that in there, didn't I? This fight is brought to you by Ink Tattoo. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Osborne and Edwards. Osborne again from Floral, Arkansas, 23 years of age, 5'9", 169, BJJ and boxing is expertise. Meanwhile, for Edwards from Memphis, 25 years of age, 6'3", and 169, he is a freestyle fighter. Osborne and Edwards, this one should prove to be very, very, very explosive. Let's get ready. Let's get the formal introduction of the two fighters with our own Michael Kelly. V3 Legion, this championship bout is brought to you by Inked. And it's set for three, three minute rounds for the vacant V3 welterweight title. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, the third man in the cage will be Michael Kane. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the black trunks with camo trim. At five feet, nine inches, he weighed in at 169 pounds. A boxer with an MMA record that is perfect. Four wins, no losses. Representing Gracie Baja and fighting out of Floral, Alabama, Adam the Rogue Osborne. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He wears the black trunks with the red and white trim. At six foot three, he weighed in at 169 pounds. A freestyle fighter, also with a perfect MMA record. Four wins, no losses. Representing Memphis BJJ and fighting out of Memphis, Tennessee, Justin Edwards. Third man in the cage is referee Michael Kane. All right, guys, this is for the title. You got your instructions during the rules meeting. We expect nothing less than a hard, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. Any questions? Touch gloves. Go back to the corner. Rick, huge height and reach advantage for Edwards, but Osborne has the strength. Power versus finesse. We're going to see the age-old battle right here. Edwards says he's comfortable standing or on the ground. Let's see what happens. Round one, here we go in the V3 Welterweight Division Championship. Chester Edwards always comes out with that jab working. He's really good, throws it out there a lot. It's got good distance, and it keeps the opponents away. Caught a left from Osborne as he walked right into the punch. Again, Edwards a southpaw. We'll see if that 
poses any problems for Osborne. The whole game plan for Adam Osborne is to get inside, so he's going to have to figure out how to get inside on this tall, lanky, fast fighter. Yeah, we've talked about it throughout the night. You're going to take a little punishment, but you have to get the guy down. That's probably what Osborne wants to do. Last three wins, or first three wins of his four rear naked chokes. Oh, he caught a left right there from Edwards. He snuck it right in between the gloves. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's going to take some punches. It's He's going to take some serious punches, and he got in on a double right here, and he's going to he's going to air, he's going to put him up. That, that, that's a long, lanky body that Osborne's trying to get to the ground. He finally does, almost a soft throwdown, but he does get it to the ground where he wanted to get it to. I'll tell you, and on the ground right now, I'm looking at it. Justin Edwards is no slouch. He Not is at all. Definitely very comfortable right there. Uh, you know, he's setting up in a good position. As you can see, his body is turned towards Adam Osborne's, and he's he's getting a sweep right now. He's kind of switched position. He co comes up on his back. Edwards, an impressive win over Rudy McLaughlin. He made his V3 debut same day as Adam Osborne. And Osborne could be, could be in a bit of trouble here. Rear naked choke right now. What Adam Osborne needs to do is take that left hand, put it on it, on Justin Edwards' right glove, and take his right arm. And, well, he's out, so I don't need to keep going. Now but a little he, ground and pound from his back. That's Justin Edwards. And Osborne tries to get a couple of knees or a couple of elbows to the knee of Edwards. I can't see that left leg. I think it's it's free on Adam Osborne, but he could turn right into Justin Edwards if he turns it to the right real quick. Now Osborne's taking a little bit of punishment here from Edwards, who's letting it fly. Again, there's long, lanky arms, and he's able to score. Under a minute to go in this first round. Osborne was able to get out of that first rear naked choke attempt. Looks like he's about to get in another rear naked choke. And he's throwing some reverse ground and pound as well. Yeah, we talked about the rear naked choke victories for Osborne. Now he's getting a little bit of his own medicine here against the tactician, Justin Edwards. <laughs> yes, he is. It's never fun to be put in that move. And Osborne is having a real tough time trying to figure out how to get out of this mess, although only 20 seconds to go in the first round. Justin Edwards has a great body lock on him. What that does is that totally immobilizes Osborne. Osborne is stuck in that position. He's going to be stuck there for the rest of the round. Final seconds of the first round, as we mentioned, Edwards very comfortable standing up or on the ground, and he showed it here in the first round. Some good ground and pound to wrap up the first round. Very impressive for Justin Edwards in his battle with Adam Osborne for the V3 Welterweight Division Championship. You know, not a lot of action in that first round because it kind of went to the ground, not how they wanted it. We were looking for a big slam, it didn't come, kind of kind of just fell to the ground. And, uh, you know, it's in a position where there's not a lot of action happening, and Adam Osborne did a great job of, of defense. So, and Justin kind of, you know, they kind of neutralized each other. So it's such a hard round, not much action at all. Well, Osborne is, uh, is talking with his, his corner man, and, and there you see Justin Edwards, but and he's very, very confident. Uh, Jason McDonald and, and the fine folks over at M Memphis BJJ. But if we can get a shot of, of Adam Osborne, he's going over strategy with his, with his corner about what to do against this long, lanky guy. He tried to take it down. He did take it down, and then it backfired on him. Again, here's a guy who's won three by rear naked chokes. So and now it's what's going through his mind is strategy. What do I do? How do I get in? Where do I where can I do the most damage against this this tall, lanky, talented Justin Edwards? Yeah, he's not gonna be able to just go out there and fight. He's gonna have to have a game plan right here. Round two, here we go again, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Who won the first round in your opinion? In my opinion, it would have been Justin Edwards. Justin Edwards landed a lot more punches and did a lot more damage. The judges, Kevin Haynes, Sean McCall, Tony Martin for this battle. I just think the wheels are spinning right now in the mind of Osborne, trying to figure out what to do with this guy. He has the reach, has the height advantage. And again, he's a southpaw that throws that in. <laughs> you throw that in the mix as well. Yeah. A lot of different obstacles and hurdles for Adam Osborne to overcome. And, you know, Justin Edwards looks really calm out there, and he is just kind of doing what he wants right now. For Osborne, you also have to gauge how far you need to be distanced away from Edwards because how far can he reach you with those punches with the, and with kicks? Exactly. Right now he's a bit of a guillotine right now. So if he does pick him up and slam him, he could be in a little bit of trouble right now. So that's going through his head as well. 
Do I go for the takedown? Do I pull out, throw a punch, or what? Right, Edwards with, uh, he, he turned a, a situation where he may have been slammed down into uh, an offensive situation where he was trying to. God, he's strong. There's a takedown, but again, not much behind it. Edwards really a tactician with a capital T. Yeah, Adam Bonner is, or I'm sorry, Adam Osborne is super strong. As you can see right there, he just lifted Justin Edwards up and put him right down. Yeah, Freudian slip by you were thinking uh, the former champion, P.J. Bonner, yep. turned pro and gave up the belt. Therefore, we have this V3 welterweight division title fight tonight between Osborne and Edwards. Great move by Adam Osborne there to keep Justin Edwards back on his back. Little hammer fist. Yeah. Don't no. do much, but they make you forget what you're doing. Right, right. Not much pop, but again, they could be a nuisance oh, without question. Absolutely. Under a minute to go in the second round, and Michael Kane's going to stand him up. It's the first time we've seen that tonight. Mm. You're a little surprised? I am a little surprised at that. That was, um, they weren't really stalemated or held up, but, you know, Michael saw that. Oh, oh. big kick by Osborne. <laughs> right into the jaw, and then coming right back was Edwards with the left. That woke up a monster, I think. Woke up a sleeping monster. Osborne, or Edwards rather, has a nice left. He does, he's got really crisp punches, and Adam Osborne doesn't have crisp punches. Justin Edwards is really good strikes. Yeah, there's another left hook. That reach has really been an advantage for Edwards. Right kick there from Osborne, not a lot of pop behind it. Closing in on the final six. Oh, oh, nice combination. Big left. Yes, he led with the right, got him back on his heels and connected with the left. Osborne gets a punch in here in the final seconds. Tries to get a takedown, but we are going to go to a third and decisive round. Edwards with some big punches there in the final 30 seconds. After Osborne got hit with that punch, he kind of let uh, Edwards know that it didn't hurt. Stuck his tongue out, put his head right out, kind of baited him. So. Definitely a cool little fight so far. I'm enjoying it. Uh, not a lot of action, but just enough to keep everybody kind of guessing on what's going to happen. Well, you would have to think it's, it's Edwards' fight right now, so let's talk strategy for both. You're Osborne. You've seen this long, lanky guy. You've tried to take him down a couple of times. What do you do? Uh, he's going to have to get him closer to the cage. What I've noticed is he's doing his takedowns right in the middle of the cage. So Justin Edwards has all this space to backpedal and kind of push him off. So that's the main reason. He needs to close the difference on the cage, use that cage, get him against her quicker, and not eat as many coming in. How about Edwards? Uh, obviously, he has the ability with that reach to keep Osborne at bay, and even if Osborne attacks, he should be able to get a couple of shots in. What is his strategy? Would he rather just keep it up for three minutes on their feet and just connect with punches? I think Justin needs to unleash more punches because he's gotten taken down every time he's thrown a kick, and that's kind of his Achilles heel right now. If he just lets go with the hands and just kind of drills him with him, I think he could uh, he could put Adam down. The B3 welterweight division title on the line. Round three, here we go. Edwards, the taller of the two, fighting out of Memphis BJJ. Osborne, Gracie Barra is a floral Arkansas native. Starts it off with the leg kick. Either Justin is extremely tired or one of his legs is hurt because he's kind of got a wobble when he steps down. If Adam has a good third round, he could steal this fight, I think. Good lead left by Edwards. I think that, that glanced off just a little bit. It wasn't a full hit, but, you know, definitely scores. But you have to counter. I mean, Edwards leaves that left out there, and you got the whole body you can come back with, and Osborne's not countering whatsoever. Right hand jab, remember he's a left hander. It's a southpaw. Osborne kind of slapping at him a little bit. Yeah, you can tell Adam Osborne is a straight ground fighter. He wants to get inside, power you down, slam you, and submit you out. Look at those eyes by Osborne. Oh, yeah, he lights up right when he charges in like a bull. My gosh, you're kind of mesmerizing. Now they go to the ground. Good takedown. He just ripped his base out. Oh, no. fists. Those were vicious. They were. He's a strong kid, no question. 23 years of age, Osborne, 25 is Edwards. Approaching the halfway point of this third round. Adam Osborne needs to break him back down like he just did. Straighten that leg out and try to get a more dominant position right now. Justin Edwards looks a little bit tired right there. He needs to uh, 
definitely try to negate any offense that Adam Osborne comes up with here. Got his hands free a little bit, a little more ground and pound here in this third round. I'll be honest, Adam Osborne punches harder from the ground than he does standing. Look at these punches. Would you agree with me on oh, this? I, uh, absolutely. I mean, think about it. He didn't really have much leverage, but they were coming in pretty strong. Oh, he almost had a nice guillotine. Oh, he went up and got it. Bad move. Now, Kane says, that's Michael Kane, the referee. Get your hands off the cage. <laughs> Justin Edwards had his hands on the cage for leverage. Ah. He tries a little hammer fist right there. Now, it's Justin's, Justin's try attempt at the guillotine. 40 seconds to go in this one. Now what Adam Osborne needs to do is take his right leg, step on the outside right side of Justin Edwards, lift him up and slam him. When he slams him down, his head will be still in the guillotine, but he'll be on the right side. So Justin Edwards won't be, won't be able to put any pressure on him. Now there's only 20 seconds to go in the round. What's his cardio like? Does he have the strength to be able to pick up and slam Edwards? I think he's going to get a takedown. He's trying. 10 seconds to go in this one. The V3 Welterweight Division Championship is on the line. And time not on the side of Adam Osborne. There's the slam oh. right before <laughs> the buzzer. So that third round was pretty impressive for Osborne, but I don't know if he had enough. Uh, that's a great round. It all comes down to that second round. I give the first round to Edwards. I gave the third round to Osborne. But that second round was so close, it's very hard to call. We'll see what the judges have to say. All right, Rick. Rick Bracken will head to the cage, go inside, talk to our winner and our new V3 welterweight division champion, whether it be Adam Osborne, the Rogue, or Justin Edwards. And again, it's in the hands of Kevin Haynes, Sean McCall, and Tony Martin, our judges. Very Impressive fight, good, smart fighters, tacticians, if you will, tacticianists. Justin Edwards coming off that very impressive win over Rudy McLaughlin. Adam Osborne, as I mentioned a couple of times, his first three wins all came by rear naked choke. Both 4-0, somebody is going to be losing for the very first time. Meanwhile, the winner not only stays undefeated, but is going to pick up a shiny new belt. The welterweight title becoming open after BJ, PJ Bonner announced he was turning pro, the former B3 welterweight division champion. Still waiting for the judges' scorecards to come in. Hope you're enjoying the action here on B3 Fights. Inglewood Hall in Midtown, Memphis, Tennessee. There's a great shot of Adam Osborne from our, our crew who's done a great job giving you some terrific video. And he thinks he's won this fight. Now Edward's a little more subdued, but he's got to feel very confident in what he did as well. The two fighters brought to the center of the cage, and now we go to Michael Kelly for the decision. B3 Legion, let's hear it for both these warriors. What a fight. We're here in the V3 cage in Mingwood Hall. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the decision. The judges scoring this one for your winner by split decision. And the new B3 welterweight champion, Justin Edwards. And this one plays out exactly the way we thought. A split decision win for Justin Edwards, your new V3 welterweight division champion. Nick Harmeyer, the president of V3 Fights, placing the belt around the waist of Justin Edwards. Good sportsmanship between he and Osborne. And now Rick McCracken gets a few words from our winner, Justin Edwards. I'm here with your new champion, welterweight champion, Justin Edwards, man. How you feeling, buddy? I'm too worn out, too tired to talk. I'll tell you what, man, you got some pinpoint striking. Those jabs were picking him apart in that first and second round, and that's what won it for you. Uh, how was that cardio in the third round, man? You looked a little gas. I was gas. He's just a big, strong, strong guy. I could, I could barely grab him. Well, I'll tell you what, you, you had good jiu-jitsu kind of holding him off. You hit him, hit him, hit him. You scored points, and now you're the new V3 champion. Congratulations. 
Great job. Anything you want to say to the fans out there? I want to thank y'all for coming out. You know, my gym, Memphis Judo Jiu Jitsu, my coaches, my training partners, all my friends and family. I want to thank my sponsor, Fight Swag, for this fight. And I want to thank my girlfriend for, for being my biggest fan. Well, again, congratulations. Your winner, a new V3 welterweight champion, Justin Edwards. Well, don't go anywhere. The V3 featherweight division championship is on the line next. When we return to Minglewood Hall, you are watching V3 Fights. <laughs>